Hey guys, it's Lewis Williams here with Keller Williams Real Estate. I'm here with Mr. David McLaughlin, my listing specialist, and we are going to talk uh, today on the Monday market moment here about home inspections and issues as they come up uh, during that period. The dreaded home inspection, David. So I Once have... we go under contract, we know that's going to happen. Right. Tell me what happens next when a couple issues always arise. So, I mean, it, it never fails. The home inspector's job is to find things that are wrong mm -hmm. with the house. And yeah. uh, a lot of times, if they don't find anything, they feel like they haven't done their job. So they'll always find something. Yeah. They're the... getting paid three to $500 doing right. their inspection. They're going to find something wrong with the house. Exactly. And the buyer and courts are going to ask to have those corrected nine times out of 10. Exactly. Exactly. Even on sales where it's specified that the seller is not going to make any repairs, mm -hmm. and really the buyer's agent is doing their job to ask anyway, yeah. because you never know. And so they're going to ask. So, Lewis, I've, I've had my buyer do the home inspection, and I've given you a laundry list of yeah. 62 yeah. items. What are you going to well, do? Well, the first thing I do is I call the buyer's agent and says, what are deal breaker items? We just right. want to look at deal breaker items. We don't want 10 or 12 things. Unfortunately, sometimes buyers will ask for that, mm -hmm. but we try to narrow it down to two, three, four items that have to be done or corrected prior to the act of sale, and right. then we start negotiating from there. There are several options we have. We can give them money in lieu of the repairs. The buyer could do the repairs, or we could just say we're not going to do it and ask if the buyer is going to move forward or not. And exactly. they have the option to either reject the offer, cancel the agreement, and move forward with another property, or decide they're going to just move forward and buy the home. Right. And at, usually what I do is I, I, I will talk to sellers and recommend that we take care of things that are going to be structural issues or safety issues. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of 10, those are things that they will, would want to have done as preventative maintenance anyway, if they were going to be staying in the home. And so you certainly want to, wouldn't want to pass those on to somebody else. Or I'll say, just think of the things that you would do if you were going to sell the home to your own family member, right. a family member that you like, right. and you know, things you wouldn't, problems you wouldn't want them to inherit. You know, things like um, a hole in the wall yeah. uh, from a, a picture hanger, we're not really going to you know, address, address minor that. cosmetic but, issues. Right? right, I mean, AC issues, broken windows, roof issues, exposed wiring, structural stuff. Yeah, but you know, as long as there's a meeting of the minds about the repairs and who's going to do what, then mm -hmm. we move forward. If there's not, at the end of the day, if there's no meeting of the minds about who's going to do what or, or we can't renegotiate something, then the buyer has the option to get their deposit back and, and move forward with another yeah. home and, and you're back on the market. Right. And you don't necessarily want to go down that route, but sometimes it happens, unfortunately. And then if right. it does, we do look at that list again and we make sure if another buyer comes along in 10 days, 14 days, which one of these items are going to come up again mm -hmm. that we have to address. And at that point, we would address it, put the house back on the market and just update the, the, property, update, the right. property disclosure and then put the house back on the market and attempt to sell it again. Exactly. So I hope that helped you a little bit on our marketing moment talking about inspections. If y'all need any help in the future or you're thinking about putting the house on the market or looking for a good home inspector, just give us a call. We'd love to refer you some business, step in, maybe interview to help list or sell a property. Uh, if you want to send us a message, shoot it to us through Facebook or give us a call directly. The number is 985-237-0712. See you soon.